All right, this is block two, section one, the last um, term, uh, Captain Alfred Thayer Mahan. What you are looking at right now, this is the father of the modern American Navy, uh, the most powerful Navy in the world. After the Civil War, the American Navy was allowed to kind of fall into rust. Um, Alfred Thayer Mahan was an American naval officer who taught at, at uh, Annapolis at the Naval Academy. And he did this in-depth historical study and he wrote a book. He wrote a book called The Influence of Sea Power on History. And in this book, Captain Mahan argued that every great power in the history of the world has had strong navies to protect their trade. And by 1890, the United States did have quite a bit of international trade. Trade with Latin America, trade with Europe, trade with Asia, trade with China, trade with Japan, trade with Australia. And Mahan said that if the United States wanted to be a powerful country in order to protect this trade, it would have to build a powerful navy. Mahan found an ally in Theodore Roosevelt who became a proponent in the government for his plans. And in the 1890s, the United States did, on the advice of Captain Mahan, begin to build a modern, world-class, powerful navy. And in the Spanish-American War, and then obviously in World War I, which was coming only a generation later, this navy was to play a huge and important role. This is the father of the American Navy, a man who said if the United States wants to act on the world stage, it had better as well, better have the means in which to act. And for Mahan, the means of that was a powerful navy.